Time for our first test. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Huh, doesn't want to go, okay. Three, two, one. One. All right, first test was a success, but all I can do is hope that raccoons don't like watermelons. Anyway, that bar came down super fast, but just how fast was it moving? If the bar is one meter long, that means it has a 3.14 meter journey on its way to the watermelon. And counting 10 frames for the second half of its journey, we can figure out that it was moving at about 42 miles an hour on impact. Okay, watermelon might have been a little bit too easy. Let's try something a little bit harder. How about some coconuts? All right, giant mousetrap versus coconuts. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> It took a lot of revisions to get this mousetrap working perfectly because every time I wound it up, something would break, so I would have to fix that and then I'd find the next weakest link and so on and so on. A lot of welding later, it works great. The next thing we're gonna destroy is this model volcano I made. I used about 50 pounds of clay and it took me about three hours to put all the little decorations on there and it's gonna be gone in one tenth of a second. Hopefully we get some cool slow motion from this thing getting cut in half. And just to make sure we get some cool footage, I'm gonna pour some diethyl ether in the top of the volcano. You can't have a good volcano without fire. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I'd say that works. I created this bit for a cameo in Mark Rober's newest video. It's pretty cool. 